Hi, Nicole. Thank you so much for taking some time to chat today. I mean, first of all, congratulations are in order, not only for the Emmy nominations for the show, but for yourself. Well-deserved. I'm curious, though, you know, living through these very strange times, have you really had a moment to appreciate how historic and how cool this moment is for you? Um, I, the day I found out, I celebrated with my skate gang. <laughs> I made a bunch of my friends, my dear friends, buy roller skates and we roller skate. <laughs> uh, and then we have wine time and it's a really nice time. And it was like, a, it was just a nice way to celebrate because we've been so like isolated from people. <laughs> Sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's just, that was just how I celebrated. I mean, I can't think of a better way to go than roller skating with some <laughs> wine. I mean, that sounds that sounds great. Uh, you know, I, I'm curious. You're up against some pretty stiff competition. Obviously, RuPaul in the category uh, who has won this what four years in a row. You're no stranger to Drag Race. You were on All Stars this past season. I, I'm wondering if you were able to glean any sort of hosting wisdom from, from RuPaul that you've been able to bring to Nailed It and, and or if you would like to use this as an opportunity to start a smear campaign against RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will lose against RuPaul and I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, I love Drag Race, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I'm a huge fan of RuPaul and I have been for such a long time. Um, no, I haven't borrowed any of the hosting prowess from Rue, uh, just because our my show is, Nailed It is so different. It's such a different show. Um, I think we really embrace, uh, like, uh, just, like, people being people and, like, being imperfect. Not that, like, Drag Race is, like, about perfection or anything. Um, I, it's just, to me, it's two different. It's apples and oranges. Oh, for sure. Well, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about this this morning. I did Drag Race exit interviews for All Stars. And when I talked to Ms. Cracker this season, she brought you up by name, saying that the little pep talk that you gave to her really kind of changed around her entire experience this season and, and sort of propelled her on to the finale. You know, I was thinking like, I don't know that these Drag Race judges can stay around forever, Nicole. I'm wondering if if there's a spot for you permanently on that panel <laughs> at some point, because I can't think of a better fit than you. I then. mean, I would honestly, truly love it. Michelle is so kind. I love Michelle. Rue has been so kind. Rue doesn't have to be nice. Rue's so kind to me. Um, and I do love Ross and Carson. I love them very much. I would, I mean, I would, I, anything they would let me do on the show, I would love. I yeah. pitched to uh, Theron, one of the producers there. I was like, can I, when they go home, can I just be the van driver and just go, <laughs> honk, honk, let's go with no explanation. <laughs> he was, he hasn't gone back to me. <laughs> Well, you know, phone calls are taking time. At the moment. <laughs> maybe, maybe you'll have one coming. Um, well, uh, congratulations are also in order, of course, because of the fact that you'll be hosting. Not well. Not only will you be hosting the Creative Arts Emmys, you will be hosting five nights of the Creative wow. Arts Emmys, Ms. Byer. And I cannot, I cannot wait. What do we have in store? Where are we in the planning stages? And uh, and uh, you know, what do we have to look forward to? <laughs> Um, I honestly just found out I'm doing it. I think I found out maybe a day before it was announced. Mm -hmm. um, so honestly, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's going to make it even better. I mean, the, the Creative Arts Emmys, you know, of course, we get, you know, awards like Guest Actress in a comedy series, but we also get, you know, all the technical stuff. I'm wondering if you mm -hmm. will use this, this next time to, you know, brush up on maybe uh, your favorites in camera editing <laughs> for a low budget reality <laughs> special. I mean, on, I, so I have a podcast about 90 Day Fiance where I'm we girl, talk I was about... Gonna, I was going to ask you about it. Well, we talk about the editing so much because they give you <laughs> Easter eggs. I don't think they've been nominated, but I was like, y'all are sleeping on the editing on, on 90 Day because they just, there's a scene in Darcy, well, this is Darcy and Stacy, but there's a scene where Stacy's trying to get it on with Florian, her boyfriend who has come overseas from Eastern Europe. And he's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Like, she's like, come on, baby. I'm like, I want to like, you know, make love or whatever. And then there's like a... A little door tag on the door that's like that's time great. to time to get it on or whatever but i was like this is so funny that they chose that angle that the door is like yes let's do it and then they're like we're having trouble not like it's so funny it's amazing and, oh, i love 90 day i think we'll see the thing i i love 90 day as well i 
even myself, I'm having a hard time keeping up, Nicole. There are so many. We have evo- we have uh, before the night days. We have happily ever after, or whatever it is. Now we have say, I mean, we're getting spinoffs. And don't get me wrong, I think Darcy is one of the greatest reality show personalities of all time. But even a 90 Day Fiance fanatic like myself, I- I'm even starting to get exhausted. Meanwhile, these episodes are three. Every episode is very out. long. But I gotta say, happily ever after this season is the best season of happily ever after I've ever seen. Everybody brings it. It is this last this last episode. I spent most of it screaming. My roommate and the man who lives with me, we like they watched it all the way through with me, and they don't watch Ninety Day Fiance normally. Um, it, I just Kalani and Asuelu. I, his mom is so wild. Give me my money. They're hungry, hungry hippos for money. It is so funny. Uh, Jenny and Samit make me laugh so hard. I sold all my furniture to be with Summit. It's, I, these people, you can't write them. They're all, care- I love them. I know, and it's just, it, and it still manages to all feel authentic. Like, I think yes. these people really are this way, and it's just such a fascinating, yes. fascinating thing. Okay, well, enough about 90 Day. I do, um, I, I want to ask about your outfits, because during, for these Creative Arts Emmys, Nicole, I want to know, are we getting outfit change? I know we, we're in the planning stages, but are we getting outfit changes every night are we getting costume changes within the night are we going to be wearing pants i don't know if there's a budget but no. if there is a budget i would like dresses i want dresses i want multiple dresses i that's what i want to believe me i i've never been this excited to watch the creative arts emmys it's kind of <laughs> um speaking speaking of tv nicole what what did other than 90 days is there anything else this year that you watched that you really loved or are there you know nominated shows this year that that you would love to be you know, on? I mean, I watch a lot of Drag Race. Uh, so I, I watched, you know, All Stars. I watched season 12. Sure. Um, Black Lady Sketch Show I thought was really, really fun. Uh, I got to be a part of that, which was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, the Good Place, my friend Darcy Carden, who's on it. We have been on an improv team for such a long time. Yeah. Uh, she got nominated this year, which is like really incredible. Uh, and I got to be on The Good Place, which is I, very fun. I know. Um, Insecure is a show I'd love to be on. Oh, please, Isa. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy that Isa was nominated. Um, I have friends who work on Insecure, so like that was cool to see. Um, I'm waiting for Natasha Rothwell to get nominated because she's so funny on it. Unbelievable. So funny. She's I, effortlessly funny. I love that show so much, and I'm just constantly wanting more of her. And she, the, mm-hmm. the, the the sort of standout episode from the season, I'm forgetting the title, but the, Natasha directed it, sort of the one where mm-hmm. Ethan come, yeah, oh god, I mean, she's just yeah. talented. It's so show. cool to like, because Natasha and I did improv together in New York, uh, Darcy and I have done improv for like such a long time, my friend Phil who writes on the show, who I'm doing a pilot with in the fall, like we all came up together in New York, so it's just like Rami, Yosef, we came up together in New York, like it's just so cool to be like, oh, it's only gonna get more. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like, like my generation is only gonna populate these award shows and television more. And I know some of the most talented people and it's like, it's so exciting. It's so exciting to see my friends um, thrive and like crush it. Well, it's, it's been so exciting to watch you thrive and crush it, Nicole. I've been such a fan of yours for so many years. I mean, you know, the shows you're talking about with Darcy at UCB, I was, I was in the audience often. So I, I <laughs> It's been such a pleasure watching you just thrive and come into your own here. Listen, I'm telling you, Nicole, RuPaul better watch out, okay? You're hot on those heels, girl. I don't think Ru has anything <laughs> to watch out for. Honestly, like, people will say it's an honor to be nominated. Uh, I truly feel that way. I am nominated with some of the most talented people. The Queer Eye Boys are, like, a global phenomenon. Amy Poehler is someone I've looked up to for such a long time. Nick Offerman is great. Uh, Padma has been doing, you know, food entertainment for so long. Uh, yeah. Who else is not? Oh, Shark Tank. I, lo- I love, yeah. I love Shark Tank. Oh, what is her name when she's like? And for that reason, I'm out. Barbara. I love Barbara. Barbara, Barbara Corgan. Legend. Right? I love her. She'll be like, you remind me of me as a young girl, and for that reason, I'm out. Like <laughs> so fun. Like I love Shark Tank. Well, you're you're in you're in the midst there. It's great. I mean, I, yeah, I can't imagine. It's like you know, I was just watching some more nailed it last night when you started that show. I, I can't, I mean, could you ever have imagined where it's sort of taking you here? I mean, it's because on its surface, and this isn't a knock against the show, but it seems kind of fluffy and silly and cute. Yeah. You watch it and it's, it makes you cry. 
It's the, exactly the tonic we need right now. It's so beautiful. It's My just- friend Marcy the other day, we were recording and I was like, I don't know if you've seen Nailed It because I was trying to explain something to her. And she was like, Nicole, I've seen it. I've watched multiple, I've watched the first season like multiple times. She was like, it's such a nice watch, which was surprising. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like okay, I'm Marcy. But uh <laughs> Yeah, it, I like I watched episodes and I was like, oh, this really came together. They, the, our editors are really great. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean the editing. I mean, you're gonna get to know editing pretty well over the next couple of weeks, I think, over the <laughs> at the creative arts. Well, uh, Nicole, thank you so much for your time. Thank it's you just, so much. Uh, such a pleasure chatting with you, and I'll be watching every night of the creative arts. I can't wait to see what's in store, and and best of luck. Thank uh, you. So. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye, Nicole. Thank you. Bye.